Seven Sisters Station. Okay. This is one of the areas that we've been told about, but have not visited yet. What is this? Little shack. How did people get their gliders or their bikes up here? I, I like the little blah, blah, blah. little legs on them. They're neat. Ah, machinist. Hello. The machinist is a slow mover, intentional in every action. As I approach, she crosses her arms and tilts her head back, looking me over, evaluating. Put a saunter in my walk, that I might seem a little more casual than I feel. <laughs> her greeting is a silent tip of her chin. I give a nod back. What's your name? She has a voice like gravel. That was the wrong voice to use then, wasn't it? I tell her my name and she extends a hand in greeting. Zara, what are you looking for? Do you know where I can find some glowworms? Mm-hmm. Ask for a machinist badge, customized bike. I'll ask this. I don't, I'm afraid. The innkeeper might know. Say goodbye to Zara. Uh, oh, wow. We're straight to the point and goodbye. Okay. Well. Ah. We'll go around and go the correct way, I guess. I don't know where you think you're walking. Um, but it's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, another beetle thing. Uh, there's our mask caster. Caster of masks. Or butterflies. Here. Anybody out here have anything to say? Hey! Is this our friend Elizabeth? Hey! Well, look who it is. What are the chances? You look well, friend. Friend. <laughs> I affect a casual air, and she cannot see me grin as I ask how she found herself here. Well, I plan to go into Hakoa properly, but as much as I have faith in these old bones to hold me, I didn't fancy roaming in the wastes for too long. Shame, though. I was hoping to grab a few glowing mushrooms. If you can get past the sulfurous pools, they make for quite a snack. I had never known to be ed I had never known them to be edible. I'd seen some among, among Driss's supplies once. She had told me they were poisonous and never touched them. Never to touch them. Oh, they're very much edible. Found that what? Found that out one very entertaining evening in Esria. Let's just say there's a case to be made that this is my third gliding, if I count the night I had as my second. Okay. He laughs at the memories. And I cheekily reevaluate several things about Driss. You've done enough for me, of course, but if you do happen upon any of those fungi luminescent little fellows, I'd love a few. They tend to grow in a cave at the sulfur pools far south of here. Well, okay. Ooh, do we have any messages? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Hello, Sable. Do you recognize my voice? Yeah, it's Chatty. The very sound of her reaches into my chest and curls warmly, cozily around my heart. Daddy. I'm only kidding with you. One never forgets the voice that first assigned them chores, hmm? I hope you've been enjoying your gliding, seeing the world at your pace. I expect you've been good and well-behaved on your travels. I hope you've also tried being a little bad. <laughs> Not rude or unkind, but I hope you've bent a few rules and known the small joys of sneaky little secrets. 
Perhaps I have bent some rules once or twice. Possibly I've just felt like I have, which I think is probably the best part of being a little bad anyway. I'll be brief, Sable, because even though my heart could pour itself out for hours, I don't want you standing out there too long. We've returned to the Ewer, all of us. Our period of grazing has ended, and we're back precisely where you left us, though I think a little calmer than we were in those last few days. There's absolutely no rush to return, and if you're having a wonderful time out there, I hope you keep it up. The gliding is yours to extend. But if and when you are ready, you know that we are waiting for you with arms that will welcome you regardless of your decision. Now I should go. Hilal's giving us a little poetry reading. Bet you're sorry to miss that, hmm? <laughs> See you at Gladding's End, at the Ewer. Take care. Recording ends. I still whisper a goodbye to Jaddy, as though she can hear me. It's difficult not to feel a pull to go to her, and to them, straight away. But I can tell, even in her tone, that there is no undue pressure or poorly hidden hope. When I'm ready to end my gliding, I'll go back to the Ibexy. For sure. You are still walking into that pillar. I don't know where you think you're going. It's not anywhere anytime soon. Courier Irene. Irene? A delivery out in Hakoa. Brilliant. This is the last time I agree to this. Fumes scratching at your eyes. The humidity is unbearable. All this was lugging a heavy bag across this terrain. Rohana's mask. I wish I could. I wish I had a hover bike. Uh. Elizabeth. No, you can't have. You can't have Simon. Just look. Strange. I didn't think it was. Hello. This is Affy, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Have you got time to help me with something? Uh... You know where I can find some glowworms? Yes, yes, absolutely I do. There's a cave far to the south of here, just packed with the sinister little creeps. Sinister little creep. I hate them. They're just... Ugh, awful. But unfortunately, they're out of... They're of use sometimes, so I've become quite practiced at catching them. I ask if she might be able to help, and the response is a shudder. <sighs> Absolutely not, but I can advise. You'll need to get them down from where they nest on the roof of the cave. To do that, look for, look for sulfurous rocks lying around nearby. Want to write this down? Tell her I'm taking mental notes. That's how I roll anyway. Well... You want to look for sulfurous rocks and get them wet. They'll start smoking, and that's when that should be enough to knock the glowworms out and knit you your awful slimy quarry. Rather than put her through more, I offer my thanks and move along. Anything else I can help you with? I still need help if you can. I already found lore. What do you need? The innkeeper seems almost giddy. I need you to gather some slicer beetle poo. Some... What? I lean forward, assuming I've misheard. Slicer beetle poo. You know, food goes in, poo comes out. I tell her I know what poo is. I'm trying to grow more flowers these days, and you know what they say. Flower power beetle poo. Who says that? Lots of people. Slicer beetles are fairly docile, but if you're going to get the poo out of them, you'll need to give them a fright. Jumping on their back usually does the job, but it takes some doing, and then it takes some doing to get them to stand still. I'm sure you'll figure it out. And don't worry, it's not cruel. Think briefly about what I would call it if someone stood on my back and frightened me into defecation. Or, well, it doesn't hurt them. They're made of strong stuff, and... They'll get over it. We've all been there, eh? Anyhow, I'll need three pellets of the stuff. There's a nest of them underneath Karab's hold, southeast of here. 
that's where you'll probably want to look. Tell her I'm on the case and say goodbye. Well, that's a task. Anything else? Do you have anything else to say? Why don't you buy a hover bike then, dude? Huh. Is there a... Is there a up here? There's one over there, though. Hi, chum. Yep. Come with me. What is... Oh, it's this butterfly. Button. south of here, huh? That direction. I still don't see... You know what? There's probably something on top of these rocks. Uh, I still don't see... a cart cartographer tower. Anywhere. And it's probably south as well. But, uh, don't see it yet. Oh, they spin. Okay. Well, guess what we're doing? Catching this butterfly. And then climbing these rocks. Crystals, I guess, is what these are. I wish I could see! That is not what I wanted to do. gonna be able to ah camera the camera does not want us to go up here yes then we're not gonna make it sorry sable for the small one, I guess. That's a long way. You did a little jump. That was not ex Oh no. It's not exactly what we want to do here. Get to the top. You got it. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Don't do any more stumbling. We don't like that. I do like to see what I'm looking at, though. Okay. 
Hello? Camera? Hello? Where did my thing go? No! Okay. This is a little bit broken. I'm not even gonna make it back. Cool. Uh, let's go. <laughs> let's go talk to this person again. Oh, okay. Well. Let's see if they have anything else to say. I greet Zara. She nods. That's my bike. Let's open her up. Yeah, I don't have. Don't, don't, don't. Just tell me. She chuckles deep in her chest. Someone tell you we were giving those away? <laughs> if you want a badge, I need to know you're somebody who can earn a badge. Not a problem. I can feel the smirk. She isn't mocking, though. Only entertained. Didn't even think twice. I like that. You ever been to the Crystal Plateau? I have, yes. As casual as I can, I say I've seen the place. Huh. Good. This will be a breeze for you, right? Another chuckle. Take a ride out there and harvest me some lightning crystals. Give me three of them, you get a badge. I get to finish the parts I'm working on. Oh yeah, look at those parts. That looks neat. I nod and turn to go, but she clears her throat to stop me. Before you go, you done this before? Why, what should I know? I ask her what I should know about the harvesting crystals and I assume the pose of a good listener. It's a dangerous job. Or you try it yourself. Speak to Tota. He's the leader of the crystal farmers. Man of experience. And a friend. You'll find him at the base of the plateau, southwest of here. Make for the lightning. You can't miss it. Thank you for the advice. Good luck. I think you might need it. Say goodbye to Zara. Okay, I'll be right back. Hi! Get those crystals yet? Of course, I have them right here. I gave her the crystals and she nods approvingly, tossing them around in her hands and inspecting the crackling glow of each one. I stand impassive, my arms crossed this time. <laughs> you knew exactly what you were sending me into, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with that choice. And you pulled it off, so it looks like I was right to send you. I concede with a shrug. She makes a good point. And for your trouble, you got yourself a badge. Zara hands me a machinist badge. I thank her and ask what she intends to do with the crystals. You'll like this. I'm building bike parts, and I'm happy to offer them up for trade if you've got a mind to make something big, fast, and electric. A year's per cut. You'd have to slap it together yourself, but that's how you bond with a bike, right? Putting it, putting it together piece by piece. Bonding with a bike. I think of the soft static hum I feel in my hands when the sun is warm on Simon's surface, Simon's surface. How she brings to mind a basking beast. We do bond, her and I, don't we? I tell Zara I'll be sure to come to the machinists next time I need such things, and we say goodbye. I say goodbye to Zara. Okay, but you have stuff? Buy bike parts. No problem, have a look. Uh, look at these. Oh, they're expensive. Uh, we could sell her. What can I sell? You don't want my lightning runs? Uh, am I out of them? Did you take all of them? No, they're right here. I have two left. You can have them. Oh, you don't have any. You don't have any cuts. Got it. Well, I don't have enough to buy bike parts, and you don't have enough to sell me, to help me buy bike parts. Fun. Right. Also, hey, Soren, thanks for the tier one sub. You're awesome. Okay. 
Okay, so south it is, I guess, huh? Come here, Simon. We're going south. 